Welcome to my channel, Light Minded, where I like to talk about ways that you can align your mind, body, and spirit to become the best version of you. So I'm gonna list all of the timestamps below. I'm gonna start off with channel messages and then messages for tarot. So whatever resonates with you, whatever you wanna watch, you can check the timestamps out below. This is a timeless reading. Take the messages that resonate, leave the messages behind that don't fit. This is a collective reading, but because you clicked on this video, I believe that there is something of value specifically for you in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So you are whole and complete just the way you are right in this moment. Like you watching this video, you are whole and complete just the way that you are. Another message I got when I was channeling is don't allow distractions to take you away from your peace. Distractions can be anything. It could be social media, it could be people, it could be your inner dialogue with negative thoughts. Don't let it take away your peace. When you allow someone to take away your peace, you are letting them. No one can steal your joy. No one can steal your peace. You can only allow them to take that from you. Another thing that I consider distractions are when you focus on lack, lack of money, lack of love in your life, whatever you feel like you don't have enough of, that to me is considered a distraction. It can kind of throw you off of your game. So as a lot of you know, I am a therapist, but as a therapist, I have a therapist myself and I wanted to share this with you guys and be transparent. I was recently reflecting in one of my sessions on certain things that I feel like I was missing from my childhood or how my needs weren't met in certain ways. So in that moment, my therapist reminded me that I was provided for everything that I needed in other people and other resources. It just didn't come from that person or that parent, but I was always provided for. So I'm sharing this with you because I wanna remind you that you are always provided for. The universe always has your back. Even when it feels like you're not being provided for, or maybe you're missing out on something, you are always provided for. If you're able to look at maybe those people or situations that kind of came in out of nowhere, maybe you feel that your parent should have provided you with something or your romantic partner should have provided you with something, but you are always provided for if you're able to look back and reflect on your past. When you're able to look back at your past and see how everything worked out for you magically and everything kind of just worked out, you're able to regain your power. And when I was reflecting on things that I was lacking in my childhood, I was essentially giving my power away. I was letting my power go by looking at the lack. So don't let the lack or the distractions throw you off of your game because you were always provided for and you are whole and complete just the way that you are. So when these thoughts come in your mind that either you're not enough or you don't have enough, just affirm to yourself that everything works out in your favor and the resources are going to fall into place. So there are gonna be times where we don't have the answers, we don't have the clarity, or we may feel that things aren't working out for us based on what we're perceiving. Tell yourself something better is coming in for you. Anything that is meant for you specifically is not going to miss you. So any type of situations that you perceive as a missed opportunity, know that it just wasn't meant for you and know that something bigger and better is coming along. I just wanna remind you how you show yourself love is going to reflect on how you show others love. So in those moments where you feel that energy of lack, just try to provide yourself those encouraging words and talk to yourself like a friend. So when I was channeling with my guides, I also got the angel number 333. And this angel number is associated with growth. This growth can be associated with personal growth, spiritual growth, or financial growth. This is also a sign and indication that my guides are saying it's time to dream big. When you're thinking about the desires that you wanna attract into your life, dream big. Don't dream based off of your circumstances, in the current moment or your bank account in the current moment or the current version of you. You really wanna dream big beyond your circumstances. Also feel like some of you could be receiving some type of promotion at work with this 333 coming up. Also, any of you that are looking for work, my guides are saying like you're gonna be elevated. So if you're looking at higher positions, if you're feeling like, I don't know if they're gonna hire me, I wanna say, go ahead, you have the green light, go ahead and apply up because I feel that 
when you do that interview, they're gonna see something in you that maybe others don't see, and they're gonna give you that opportunity of leveling up. This energy is also gonna help us feel unstuck. So if any of you are feeling stuck right now, I feel like there's gonna be some type of push or movement coming soon. So please be patient. It's all about divine timing, which is spirit time, not your time. So now this is the third and final piece to this video, which will be the tarot messages. I hope that you guys like this format. Please like this video. I truly appreciate all of your support. Also comment below. I love reading each and every one of your comments. Um, also, if you would like to join the Discord group I just created, I will put the link below if you want to get connected. It's just a community so we can connect and talk about spirituality. We can talk about mental health. It's a safe and non-judgmental space. So let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for us. This is a collective reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see. All right, so for the Law of Attraction card, we have true manifestation is about receiving what is of the highest good for all. Oof, I love that. I love that. And look at that color. Very beautiful. So with this card, I just feel like my guides are saying that it's all about the universal connection. We are all one. We are all connected. So maybe when things don't necessarily work out, it's just the universe you know, kind of like stitching their way to make sure everything works out for the highest good for all. So let's go ahead and see what other messages. I'm gonna go ahead and get one more of these, my guides are saying. Let's see. When I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with the ever present stream of well-being. Oh my gosh, I love that. And with this card, I'm almost getting this energy of any type of problems, any type of concerns, any type of worries that you have. I know for me personally, I like to release that to spirit. I will just say, you know, I don't have the solutions right now. I know the solutions are coming to me. I'm releasing what I can't control and leaving it up to the universe and spirit, you know, to take care of it. And I know the universe has my back. And you know, whenever I'm saying these things, what I'm really doing, I'm not just saying it, I'm saying it with the intention for it to really hit my subconscious mind. You know, we're aware what's in our conscious mind, but we're not aware what's in our subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is impacted by programming from your upbringing, when you were raised, your childhood, your experiences. So you really want to utilize positive affirmations. You wanna utilize repetition um, of positive words and um, encouraging words when it comes to your subconscious mind so you can really use effective programming when it comes to your subconscious mind. You know, really get that energy out there that no longer serves you. So we have integrity. You demonstrate the truth and the honesty of your soul and manifest love with every action. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. I almost get this energy of like focusing on love. Like, are you doing something out of love or doing something out of fear? So when you're making certain decisions, I wanna encourage you to ask yourself, reflect inside, am I coming from a place of love or am I coming from a place of fear? And if you are feeling like you're coming from a place of fear, then just reset. You know, just take a deep breath, gather yourself, maybe sleep on it, don't rush with the decision, and try to come from a place of love so you can really feel like you're taking back your power and you're not letting go your power. We have purpose, very beautiful. You possess the determination and the dedication to concisely demonstrate love. And with this card right here with purpose, I really feel like, you know, the universe spirit is saying that it is our purpose to love and really unconditionally. We are spiritual beings. We are made up of pure love. But being in this physical body, we have the choice to show love or show the opposite of love. And sometimes with these emotions that we have and we're not processing them correctly and we're suppressing our emotions, sometimes that can make us come from a place of fear. So, so it is your purpose to love. Schedule yourself in. Remember, the most important relationship you have is with yourself. 
Be intentional with your time. You know, I feel like a lot of times we can always make time for other people in situations and work. Schedule time in for yourself, whether that's scheduling time in to meditate, taking yourself to the gym, anything to nourish your mind, your body, or your spirit. I think that's very, very important. Remember, you are the prize. You are the main character energy. This is your life. You are the co-creator of your life, right? Thoughts become things. And you want to make sure that you're scheduling yourself in and making yourself a priority. The more that you love yourself, the more that you're going to love other people. It's going to reflect. It's going to pour out of your pores. Now, this is a good one. We have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Now, a lot of clients that I talk to, they experience guilt when they're trying to schedule time in for themselves, when they're trying to make themselves the priority. That is just programming. You know, I feel like the word selfish has been weaponized. There is nothing wrong with being selfish. There is nothing wrong with putting yourself first. Release this guilt. Reflect on why you're feeling guilt. You know, maybe it's all from your childhood. A lot of times things come from your childhood. You know, maybe you had an immature parent that, you know, made you feel guilty for not meeting their needs. It could be so many things, but reflect back and peel back the layers if you are experiencing any type of guilt when it comes to putting yourself first. Maybe you're a mother, maybe you're a father, maybe you're a parent, and when you put yourself first before you kids, you feel guilty. And you need to really reflect on why is that. It's really important for you to find out where that guilt is coming from so you can focus on putting yourself as the priority. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one more card. All right, we have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I love this. You know, sometimes my guides are always telling me like, don't take life so serious, see the lighter side of things. So if you feel like if there's certain aspects of your lives that maybe you're taking too serious, maybe it's time to, you know, check in with your perspective of why you're looking at it so serious and see if you can see like the lighter side in that situation. So I hope that you guys like this new format of the video. If you do, please comment below. I would truly appreciate reading all of your comments. Um, wishing you guys love and abundance. And until next time.